Welcome to the most watched show in every undateable's house. <laughs> <laughs> this is no rule show, man. I know what you lot are thinking. Our oh, specs, man. It's like once every six years. But you know what the problem is? I was busy. You know, I was acting. Yeah. Round of applause, please. No. Um, I had the uh, show with William Hill. I had the show with BBC. So we couldn't squeeze anything in. And obviously we had full fellas as well. But yeah, it was just, it was, it was tough. I lied to you with the schedules. It was very difficult with the schedules. Yeah. So we have a good excuse this time. Yeah. But this year we're going to improve because I think we're still going to be posting no rules once every six years. That, like, I don't know, it's, it's called no rules, so we don't care, but I ain't gonna talk about that, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's facts, it's facts. I'm so excited to announce this guest. Cause I'm not gonna ask Tigo how he is, so we'll do that later. But this guest, um, it's, it's, it's someone that I really love. You know, uh, we, 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 we like to call you a situation. Um, what does that mean? Situation means... Um, Who calls me that, you? It's me, so the situation, there's mummies, there's uh, scenarios, there's predicaments. But situation is top of the list. Oh, like that, yeah. So um, I have the best situation in the house. Give it up for Chloe Barrows. Woo! Thanks for having me. I'm really oh. nervous. Why are you nervous? Because it's you two. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about him. He's, he's a different colour today. I don't know why. Where, like, where have you been, T? What's going on? I've been in Barbados. Barbados. Are you a white? Yeah. So where was you, New Year's? I was in Dubai. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> where were you? Come on, you know where I was, man. I was with PK. I was with PK and I was in oh, the house. Oh, you was with PK. PK came to my house on Christmas Day. Did he come to your house on Christmas Day? He said Day? his mum ain't cooking nothing. Oh, no. PK doesn't celebrate Christmas. Yeah, he comes to my house. He's Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. Oh, is he a Jehovah's yeah. Witness? Okay, cool. Yeah, so right. he's come and celebrate with us, him and Dazza. So yeah, we were watching your stories, man. Yeah, they were lit. We were having a good time. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It was just one of those holidays where there was no rules. No rules holiday. That's why you're here. Yeah. We were just having a good time, you know. Respect to both of you though, because I think both of you have done something I've always wanted to do. Go on holiday and celebrate New Year's somewhere else. Yeah. Because it's hella boring here. Let's be, it's let's very be boring. frank. Yeah. You know, see people like Dylan, Felix, <laughs> Greg, every year. <laughs> You know, it's something you need a break. I recommend Dubai. Not honestly, anything goes. And everywhere, everyone is partying. So if that's what you want, then go to Dubai. You gotta have Chloe Burrow's budget though. Uh, uh, no, you gotta be a girl. Listen, if, if I don't have no money, I'll just dress, dress up as a girl. But speaking of money, <laughs> speaking of money in Dubai, I have a friend that had a lot of problems with money in Dubai. <laughs> so I was in Dubai. You'll like this, Chloe, you'll like this. <laughs> so I've got a friend called uh, Poet. <laughs> I know poet, yeah. Don't cut. <laughs> People know that I said poet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dr. Omar Johnson, man. poet again. Our data boys, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? So he ended up the club held him, like held him hostage. Why? Yeah. Convert well, the table. He's, no, he, yeah, he just decided that, you know what, poet decided that, you know what, I've got mayo with my money today. So I want to order 16 Cristal bottles. 16? Mm. Only 80 pounds in the account. I can't even buy one. Why is it going 16? Uh, you know, Poet just decided I'm in Dubai. You know, anything. There's no rules. Gotta live lavish. <laughs> so he's a count and the bar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it was, you know, Poet, don't, what do you mean don't tell her? I had to. So yeah, I'm, I'm banned from Dubai. You're banned. I'm banned, I'm banned. Because I, I was there. It, it looked bad on me because I wasn't helping him out. But next year, I am travelling. I do want to go to Thailand. This, I want to go year. to Thailand. I want to go to Thailand, yes. Why do you want to go there? You know what? I think I need I need like I need a Thai woman on my CV, man. Or a Thai boy. <laughs> Listen, I mean, I've uh, there was a month where I had a serious shoulder shaking problem. Well, just not me. Tia as well. The shoulder shaking. <laughs> <fruit. laughs> you can admit or what? Anyway, so um, <laughs> what's shoulder shaking? Oh, shoulder shaking is when you know you switch the lights off. Oh my God, I thought he was dancing when I saw it on your story and you're like, I'm doing all this shoulder shaking. I was like, yeah, get no, it. No, yeah, it, it, it looks like dancing. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's the lights off and there's a lot of movement. But you know, sometimes the lights are a lot of movement, Chloe. No, stop, oh my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Your, your, your fist is in this position here and you're drilling your hand. Oh my God. <laughs> you break a palm. I'd hate to be a boy. So yeah, so we, we, we're losers, you know, me, Felix, Greg, Dylan, <laughs> T. No, speak for yourself. PK. The whole of Phil Fellas. PK is. Well. Every guy in the UK, Brexit or not, <laughs> shoulder shake. Shoulder yeah, shake. Yeah, it's a problem. So, what um, do you call it if a girl does it then? 
Uh, like a finger wiggle. Well, the thing is, you, the thing about girls, girls love, love, they love to bring like the the hardcore match equipment. <laughs> <laughs> they like to bring all this <laughs> rubber, <laughs> rulers, compass, <laughs> all this pencil case stuff. <laughs> so you got things that are doing it for you, but with us, it's it's, it's the hands DIY. I, I didn't want to say this, but I'm going to say this. Chloe, I shaved my ass off yesterday. Oh my God, I saw. How did you do it? Because you, you get a razor. No, I, I, I used a, 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 a waterproof machine. Whoa. So on the side of this machine, you turn it, mm, the engine's on. <laughs> Ele an electric razor. Oh, yeah, right. at the top, there's these yeah. like, you know, these um, like silver. Do you mean for your face? It got like that. Mm. I think it's for the beard. But no, it, no, it, okay. You put that on your bum. No, he, no, it was a women's electric shaver for. The pubic region. Yes. But it doesn't say women's. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't say ass on it either. <laughs> no, but I didn't start with the ass. I did the pubes. For, I've never shaved my pubes before. Oh, they must have been so vile. But I didn't know, I didn't know you're supposed to. I didn't know you're supposed to. You watch porn and TV, no? And they're all bald. There's not been one porn video that says shave. <laughs> yeah, but you can see it. It's suggested. It's suggested. Yeah, you're right, you know. When I'm, sometimes when I'm shoulder shaking, an advert comes in the corner like, are you shoulder shaking? You're going to need this. <laughs> and I'm like, shut the hell up. You're putting me off. <laughs> Is it? So you click that. Okay. I just like think no pubes is better, personally. I hate pubes. They just smell, I don't know. They're long, getting the oh, white. Mine, mine, cause mine, when they, mine go long and when it get to the top, <laughs> they stop roly poly. <laughs> oh my God. That's so, clap. So even when I, even when I shave Did you it, go yeah? straight in with the razor or did you have to cut it first? So what I had to do, I had to like basically one by one, but I thought I'd be there all day. So I, I pulled the first long like hair, right? With a look, how, look how far out it I is. Know, I know, I just think for ill. So I'm thinking, you know what, let me just use the scissors. I thought, nah, because it was hurting me. Anytime I pulled it, it was hurting. <laughs> It'll do that, it will do that. It's been infected. <laughs> you can't clean it if it's that hairy, so it's probably infected. Is it infected? You might have ingrown hairs and stuff. Yeah, I'd get lasered if I was you. That's what someone said to me on Twitter yesterday. It was me. It was, it was Chloe, yeah. Chloe, you're really helping me out with pubes here, you know. <laughs> Because because you know what happened to me yesterday, T? No. Nah. When I've um, shaved all my hair off, yeah. like the, the front, yeah. yeah. Like, we'll, we'll go to the back after this. We start with the front. <laughs> yeah. Start with the front. It's on the floor, right? In the shower. I'm in the shower, right? Oh. So now I thought, you know what? Let me put all the hairs together. But you know what's happened? I put all the hairs together. Have you ever killed a spider before? When you, kill it, when you stump on a spider, boom. The spider's legs come in because the, the spider's trying to cover its eggs. So it's not dead, by the way. So the spider does this. I feel sick. It turns into a ball. That's exactly what my pubes did yesterday. All my pubes were just like this. So I was thinking to myself, there's no spider in this stair as well. <laughs> With the stinging nettles. <laughs> <laughs> but I, did say, I didn't put it away. You know, I was told to, you know, put it in a bin. But I put it in a box. So I'm so... Happy that this year I've started with, you know, no pubes. You're gonna maintain it? But I've got a problem. Oh. So now... I've got a problem now. There's, um, you know, again, people, if you're uncomfortable, look away. But if you're looking, you're a real one because these are issues that we need to talk about. Don't hide it. It's like TT says, like, you know, he's healthy, he drinks water, eats fruits, but doesn't tell me to shave. Like, if, you, if we're going to be healthy on the inside, also be healthy on the outsides. And, and after, after we're done here with this whole talk, you're going to listen to me on things you also should do that you don't do. Yeah, let's lay it down. You yeah. need to eat vegetables and fruit. Your sweet diet is bad as well. Oh, sorry. Speaking of sweet diet, man. What's in there? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's for you. That is for I you, love man. these. Yeah. Mm. I use my hands to put all the sweets in there, by the way. And <laughs> this is the hand I use to shave my shasha. Ha <laughs> I'm joking, Claire, I got you. There's hairs in my bum that I'm trying to get rid of. Yesterday, I thought it was easy. It wasn't easy. Because every time I opened it and the mirror's behind me, the mirror is homophobic. It started moving <laughs> away from me. <laughs> so when I thought, okay, mirror, you want to be a cunt? Stay there. And I tried to use it like no mirror. Woof. It was like someone sliced me with a knife. Oh my God. <laughs> Bum line pain stinks. <laughs> <laughs> so how do I clean off the backside? 
Why do you need a mirror? Because you know where your bum is. Use your logic. That's the, that's the line. Yeah. But let's, okay, let's say this is my back off, right? This is my back off, right? It, it's that size, so it's cool. Flat back, right? I hate that. Now, if I turn, just imagine I turn, there's hair there. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> where the shit goes in this. Sometimes I shit and the shit takes some of the hair with it as well because it's in the way. I'm not, listen, this ain't, this ain't, a, this ain't a laugh. This is yeah, science. I'm talking science. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm t- like my shit's had enough. And then there's, and then, Chloe, on my life, there's a hemorrhoid there. <laughs> oh my God. And we don't want to explode that, do we? Barbecue sauce everywhere. <laughs> How have you got a hemorrhoid there? I've had a hemorrhoid there for a year and a half. <laughs> See, am I lying? If you watch this show, you don't know. know. I don't know. What do you mean? I sent you a picture of my hemorrhoid, T. And I, I sent it on your snap and he screenshotted it. So it's in your archives. Come on, T, man. If I was you, I'd get someone to put V in your bum hole. That's dangerous, don't know. Is it not? I've never used it, but it's hair removal cream, and I feel like cream can get in there. But but it can do other like hair removal cream's like an acid, right? It burns, mm. and that and the, your anus is porous. Yeah, it's like it's basically. I knew he was a I knew he was a bum line technician. Pigs, I knew him. Man. Pigs, 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 <laughs> pigs can, BLT. Pigs Go can on. breathe out their assholes. What, what in the world? Pigs can breathe out their assholes, so they can't get hemorrhoids. They blow their nose, they blow out, they, 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 they push a fart out of the hemorrhoid. Just <laughs> flipping their old teeth, man. My next suggestion would be laser. laser. I don't have any shame, they've seen it all before. Laser, yeah? yeah. And, uh, will it hurt? It's so undignifying though, but I have a feeling you wouldn't mind it. Yeah, no, that's a massive word you've used. This is the, it's, oh, the, it's, the biggest, it's the biggest word you've used on the show. <laughs> what does that mean? Just means like you've got no dignity left you can't you know have pride when you go in to get your asshole lasered i told my story on tiktok basically when i went she was like i did whatever i needed to do and then she was like oh i'll do your bum now i was like my bum she said yeah come on we'll do your bum so i instinctively got on all fours and she turned around and went what are you doing <laughs> i was thinking Oh, what am I doing? The, what word, am I doing? the word instinctively is doing a lot of work there. Oh, sorry. I instinctively. I just thought maybe if she wanted course. to see that. Yeah, but what she told me to do next was not worth it. She said I had to lay on my front and like pull my ass cheeks while she lays it inside my bum. Well, thank you, man. This is, this is, uh, like, this is like vital information that I'm going to take home with me tonight. And I'm obviously doing my, my more research. But I, I love this. Let me know how it goes. <sighs> well. Welcome to No Rules Show, definitely anyway. You know, I'll definitely know how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to get pictures. You, I will Big block mistake you. you done was send me your I number. You, you. Now you're going to get pics. No, not like that, but... Good morning, Chloe. How does this look? <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever want to T, T doesn't block me. T has got a part with it. Well, yeah. Welcome to No Rules Show. Um, are you a big Avatar fan, oh. Chloe? Mm, I've, do you know what? No. No, it's too long. Are you not? No, yeah, no. it's too long. Yeah, never seen it. I respect it. I understand a lot of work goes into it, and I will watch it one day. But I've not seen it in the cinema. I'm not going to put it on anytime soon. No. So he, he, for as long as I've known him, I would never watch Avatar. <sighs> Blue people underwater in the sky. He said he would never watch it. Yeah. Watched over Christmas, and what happened? Oh, it's the best um, documentary. <laughs> not sure. Slash about. movie. Ever. Because you know, do you know what it is about the blue people? When I saw it from, when I was watching the highlights before, it just looked ridiculous. What do you mean the oh, like a preview? Yeah, like it is a higher, eyes are green. They're like eight foot and they've got a tail with feet and hands. I said, oh, come on, James Cameron, you're better than that. <laughs> James Cameron is director of Avatar. Great man, by the way. Whenever you find sea, like they found sea on Mars, Water, you mean? What, sorry, same sea and water, the same thing. Sea yeah, can't be metal. I don't know sea about that one. Be so many okay, water. Things, I yeah. do want to say because James Cameron used the word water, with the, so I was trying to be sea. Okay, water. Whenever, you, whenever they find water, the civilization. Yeah, that's a fair point. So one of these astronauts have gone to Pandora, aka Amazon rainforest or Mars, right? <laughs> You finished? <laughs> I'm I'm it's, like, it's, 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 it's what I'm saying. I'm educating them. 
<laughs> they're laughing in my face. <laughs> like, this is serious. So someone's gone there and seen all of these things that you're seeing. In Avatar 2, there are mountains in the air, just stuck. They're not attached to no land. Mountains in the sky. Do you know what they're calling us? You know what they're calling us? Sky people. Because we were the people that are coming. Because you know how we are. Yeah, whenever there's water somewhere, we want to go in there and find out what's really going on and take over. That's you. No, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, that's not me. But there's some people in this world that want to go and disturb these people. And that's what Avatar's about. Disturbing the tribe. Disturbing the tribes. So you know how we see whales? We see whales like grey, black skin. I saw a whale, Louis Vuitton material. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I laugh. No, I laugh. Take me as a joke. Take me as a joke. Fair, fair, fair. At least they've got designer there. Dragons. Dragons. These avatars can, you know, they can travel under sea. Okay. <laughs> they use plants to drink water. And they all got dreads. <laughs> Rastafarians! <laughs> Good. It's a fantastic film. And it made me think to my, like, it's, it made me realise that, oh, like, as a human being, I'm not alone. We're not alone. <laughs> no, T, I'm, I'm serious. We're not alone. We are not alone, though. Yeah, okay, we've got anim forget anim forget animals. No, I do you think there's aliens. Avatars. I get you now. That's Avatar. Aliens are Avatars. Yeah, or they Wait, wait. You think there's aliens? Yeah. yeah oh my God, of course there is. Do you What's not? It? In what form do you think? I don't know what an alien looks like. I just know that people who, well, I know beings that are not on Earth can be called aliens and they can exist. But it's the best film I've ever watched by far. And there's Avatar 3 coming out next year. Already? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's not next year, but it's coming. Yeah, that one took ten years to make. How can they bang the next one out so well, quick? You see, again, that's the beauty of James Cameron's mind <laughs> <laughs> because he's banked on all these. He made these films years ago. Oh, really? All right. Well, I'm glad you finally got that off your chest. You've been wanting to talk about Avatar for weeks now. James Cameron. <laughs> But you know what? We're going to move on from your Avatar talk now. We are, and I'm not going to give you time to extend it. And we're going to get to some serious Sundays. Chloe, this is where we ask uh, the crowd to send some questions. Okay. And get a feel for what they're thinking. Can I go first? Because it's the new year. Can I, can I ask a question? Just I know we get questions. I want to ask a question. Please. Um, Chloe, have you ever uh, shit in the seat? Yeah. <laughs> What? Huh? Yes. <laughs> what? Listen, I got really <laughs> you badly ill on a holiday because of the food. I mean, it really made my stomach not in a good way. And approximately every 20 minutes, I needed to go to the toilet. Anyways, we went out to the sea. We were all having a good time. I think maybe like water went up there and hurried up. And next thing I knew, I'd shit in the sea. So that happened. Like, what, what brown, the brown, the big, the, the big brown or the juicy? No, it was like <laughs> juice. <laughs> Is it? I'm not proud of it. It's not something I like to tell people, but you sometimes told us I, twice I know, today. But sometimes I tell them to make them feel better. Like if you're ever having, having a bad day, you think, oh, what did Chloe do? I know. Listen, we we all know we've all got secret hands by the bum line that bring shit back in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, when you want to fart sometimes, and you know, oops, it's a sharp one. You use your hands there to to put it back in. So. Where were your hands, Chloe? <laughs> by the sea? They were discombobulated because they were in water. It's, it's a new environment. It's a new environment. They didn't know what was going on. Next thing I know, they'd let one slip, all right? All right. Oh. First question. This, one, this one's a deep one. It's from Jed Smith. What's the thing that keeps you most motivated in life? The thing that keeps me most motivated in life? Ooh. Chloe, you go first. What keeps, you, what keeps me motivated? I wouldn't say I'm a very motivated person. Mm. <laughs> Am I motivated? Of course you're motivated. Do you think? Yeah. I'm not sure. I think I think not giving a damn is mine. I just don't care. Yeah. yeah. So I feel that motivates me. Well, I think it's because I'm a really selfish person, so I know what I want. So I'll do what I need to do to keep so myself satisfied. That. Yeah. A, I'm, My, I'm yeah. the same way. Yeah. I think it's that. I'm really selfish. You live once. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, once. you do. Think about yourself. Once. And you got no kids. 
Laugh at death. You've got some. I've got some kids, yeah, but I can, I, I can, I can have no kids <laughs> tomorrow if I want. <laughs> but I'm a big believer in if, if, if you're tired, just kick, get the hell out of there. This one's from So So. What would you be doing if you had a choice and not doing what you're doing for a career right now? Oh, that's a good question. What would I be doing if I couldn't do what I'm doing now? What would I be doing if I couldn't be doing what I'm doing now? <laughs> I don't understand. You got, you know your career, your path now. You can't do that. So what else would you be doing? As a choice, not what would you be forced to do? As a choice, I probably, uh, I was PT teaching before. <laughs> yeah, but that's... A PT teacher? No, not PT. I've... Oh, forget PT teachers, man. They're, they're, oh, that's they're, what I love. PE well. teacher. Oh, right. P, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what would I be doing? I'd have no ties and I'd just be travelling around, experiencing the world. Yeah, like, like I wouldn't have to be. It. Yeah, I love travelling. So anything that would make me travel, I would do that. I'd be a rapper. Actually, that's a good one. Mm. I think I'd be writing bars, just talking about like my imaginary swung in front of like. Have you heard any of Big Dick Freestyle? No. I've got a song coming. I'm going to play it to you. I've got a, a song about my dick. It's not really my dick, but. It's, 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 it's basically there's another character coming out this year called Shibango. Oh, you're Shibango. Yeah, so it's not my Shibango though, is it? It's Shibango, it's Shibango. Shibango. <laughs> you know what I mean to hear it? I know what you mean, yeah. yeah. What's Shibango? Shibango is just a name that sounds like, you know, if, when he's butt naked. Shibango, yeah, I get it. It's on a matter A lot of shopping in the middle of his body. <laughs> a lot of shopping. Hamo anyway asked, do you wipe from the front to the back or back to the front? Front to the back? Hamo. Who would do it any other way? Hamo? All right, all right, Ham. All right, Ham. Do I, sh do I wipe back to front? Do you know what I've been doing? I've just been um, dabbing. How no, can no. it ever be? You must, I'm that's why you. you need that ball deodorant, because it stinks. Zoom in, yeah? <laughs> Again, if, you don't, if, you're not, if you're uncomfortable, look away. <laughs> Trigger warning. Hi. <laughs> 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 yeah? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pornographic. <laughs> when you when you look at the tissue, the brown parts are still there. Not all of it, but you got patches of brown. That's actually clapped. Like, don't do it like that. I don't like that. Hemorrhoid. You can't be swiping. You can't be swiping, boy. You, that's that the clan. You should go and get some cream or something. T one year and a half, baby. Um, Hemorrhoid. No, my the best shit is the connect the connecting shit, the good Bluetooth one, <laughs> the one where you push and it comes out, but it's still bringing others and everybody's holding hands coming out, and then it just sits on the top. I'm just like, and that's the one where you got to open the window because the the whole house is gonna be smelling like cheese, corned beef, mushrooms. And yeah, man, boy, I love that kind of shit. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. It's disgusting. Oh, That's the worst thing I've ever heard. So you don't, you don't do it's the train. Give me, I don't do train. You don't do the, you don't, you don't do the I train do tracks. I do not do train. You don't do the train track. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. Greg, do you do that kind of shit? How can you do that when you only eat sweets? Like you must do like pellets. I've never done pellets. <laughs> <laughs> Liar, I don't even believe that for two minutes. Yeah, exactly. This next question is an important one. It's from Jim Mugan. Jim. Jimmy. <laughs> and he wants to know, what conspiracy theories do you believe in? Um, I've got a good one. The reptile people. Justin Bieber is a reptile. You believe that? Yeah, because I, I was down in TikTok call the other day. He glitched and his eyes were reptilian. Oh, that on stage? Yeah. Yeah, that was mad. That's scary, boy. <laughs> they're, they're reptiles. Yeah, but they sell their soul. It's kind of like the Illuminati, but it's not. I sold my soul. I sold my soul too. Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. Someone said that to In the comments soul. of uh, the last hey, episode of Filthy, they it's said- It's the I'm truth, a, though. I'm Illuminati now. Why? They, think, they said I went to Barbados and sacrificed someone. Whoever sussed out tea and found some sort of truth or whatever- Oh, dear. Keep going. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> doing, <laughs> doing Illuminati now. All right, we're going to stop doing Serious Sundays now. We're going to do something new. Mm. We're going to help out Rishi Sunak. Who's that, Chloe? Prime Minister. What? What? <laughs> I knew you wouldn't know who the Prime Minister was. What? Are you joking? I no. thought it was a joke. <laughs> I thought you said me up. It was you. Who did you think the Prime Minister was? Honestly? Yeah. The last I heard? Nobody was even there. 
<laughs> Boris bopped. Yeah. Yeah. And the whole place went tits up. <laughs> I ain't seen nobody on green chairs anymore. Is there's, a, there's a period of, uh, around Christmas where they don't go to work. Oh, no, you no, I remember. It's an Asian prime minister. Yeah. yeah. I remember. That's fantastic news. That's the first Asian prime minister we've ever had. Yeah. First prime minister of color. Oh, that's class. I should, I, I should be, I should follow him. What's his name? Rishi, Rishi Sunak. Sunak. He wasn't voted for though. So it's not yeah, like- He's a, not like the man of the people. He got it by default. Yeah. And we couldn't like look at him and say, well, Britain's done so well. It's got an Asian prime minister because if it goes to the people and then they vote for him, you can say Britain's done well. Otherwise it's just a load of people going, fuck it, give him the job. Plus we are in a massive economic crisis and we are about to have the biggest housing crisis since 2008. So I don't Yay. know if he's doing that well. There's big words there, man. Yeah. yeah. You can tell someone's in the market. Housing crisis. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, hold on, you're laughing. You're laughing. I educate you with your avatar. It's your turn to educate me. Yeah. So what, does that mean that... You should buy a house this year. See, I was told opposite. But that's not really the issue. Mm -hmm. What would? You, what is your suggestion for Rishi Sunak to save this country? Well, first of all, we've left the EU. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Which was a bad decision. It'll, because maybe. we're now working on the green... Scheme. <laughs> why, why are you not laughing? Do you, you know what the green scheme is? You know what the green scheme is? I think so. It's like the farm, scheme of grain. Like the farmland. Because we now we have to grow our own stuff, right? Because we can't get things imported from the the Belgians. <laughs> and then we can't get baguettes anymore. We've got to make our own. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to make our own baguettes. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if what's, his, what's his name? Rishi. Uh, what's his surname? Sunak. If RS. Oh, yes, well if, saved. <laughs> if Aris is, is, is <laughs> going to, you know, use his real connects to sort out food, I'm happy with that. That'll drive the price through the roof, so we'll probably still be in a crisis. Well, it's, it's through the roof anyway. We beans, don't have the facilities now. to do that. Huh? I don't think we have... We can't, like, all of our fruit and that we get from abroad. We don't even have the temperature to maintain, like, certain fruit and veg throughout the year. you got to remember, she's got a degree. So okay. she's ahead of us. Okay. Yeah. You sound like you've got a degree. No, I've no, no degree. He's got, no, yeah. I, got, I, I don't have a degree, but it's coming. But his degree is secretive. He's <laughs> secretive. <laughs> he's one of those guys. <laughs> yeah, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. There's an issue that I've got with RS. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Just quickly. When I used to drive back in the day, Chloe. Yeah. I used Not to drive 20, now. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, I drive now. But when I used to drive hard back in the day, I used to put 20 pound petrol in my car. Fill it up. Fill it up. That was a full tank. Above. Now it's like a hundred pounds. Yeah, plus. How do we sort this out? You've got to speak to Russia, I think. So, so this is what I'm saying. We don't, we, we don't have no identity with like, we don't get our own stuff. No. We always have to go to Russia. Yeah. So how do we? Tell you what we have. Oh no, we don't, it's America. Unfortunately, the answer to your question is what Britain did a couple hundred years ago at beyond, which was take over countries and rape their lands and take their oil and their resources. Can't do that anymore. You don't do Shouldn't that. Shouldn't do that anymore. Can't do that anymore. Um, I believe there's oil in Gibraltar and Britain won't let Argentina have Gibraltar back because there's there's oil in between the two lands and they're still trying to get that. But Britain's never going to have access to oil. That's never going to happen. Oh. Unless they take over Russia or Saudi Arabia or one of these countries that has oil. Okay, find a country outside of the EU mm. that you can be best friends with. They do Because that. China do it. China, China and issues this country are like, yo! Yeah, but China, me? No, China's the boss in that situation. Yeah, China's yeah. got everything it needs. Britain, Britain's got friends, Australia. Well, America like us. America, yeah. But America, we don't we don't we don't want to we don't want to no, be that America. The problem with America, especially when it comes to food, is that they've got they've got massive political stuff around their food in America. So they're trying Britain a lot of Boris and his people's plans was to work with the American food manufacturers and lower the standards of the product over here. Oh, great. So we'll like be Ill. chlorinated chicken was a big thing because it's illegal in the European Union to sell chlorinated chicken, but Americans eat chlorinated chicken. Did you say chicken. chlorine, is like what I smell when I go swimming? Yeah. Mm. On chicken? Mm -hmm. Why? I, I'm, I, I haven't looked that far into it, but yeah. We're in the mud, man. We're in the mud. Um, yeah, but it could be worse. We could be eating chlorinated chicken. We're not it's doing that soon. yet. It's oh, coming God, soon. I, it's coming soon. I just go vegetarian then. 
But have you got a suggestion for Rishi, Chloe? Have you thought this through? You seem to have thought this through. No, I haven't. I don't know what rules I would bring in. No, I'll tell you what people should know she because knew. I she didn't knew. know this. No, I'm just thinking about me because I'm very selfish. I didn't know anything about taxes, housing, being self-employed, all of that. Things that actually make the world go round, people should be educated on from a young age. Because I am learning on the job. Tell me, so, because I, I, tax is something that well, I You're asking the wrong person, hate. I don't know what it means. I just know that I have to give money and it so that should, okay, cripples so that should stop. me. That should stop though, right? Because I was getting paid and I wasn't, didn't realise that half of it wasn't mine. So then I'm getting slapped with VAT and then I've got corporation tax and I've got this and I'm thinking, oh my God, I have no money. So he could stop, he could stop that. No, no, no need, she's saying to teach educated. young people yeah. about what's money. coming. Oh, okay, yeah. mm. okay, you're right. You're I think right. all of us agree with that. You're right, yeah. no, right, in schools. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's right. Because if we're there till we're 18 doing maths, you might as well slap some usual lessons in as well. Absolutely. Because you know I don't interest think you need, need, yeah, interest rates. Mm. Don't get credit card when you're 18. No. <laughs> What we should do is we should snatch a couple bank holidays throughout the year. There's like three in May. Don't need those. Take two off. There's f two around Easter. Take one off. Take one from, I don't know, New Year's Day. Put them all together. Middle of July. Oh my God. One summer, week yeah. of bank holiday. Yeah. Do you know how much money would be made in the economy if everyone had a summer holiday? I think that'd be too much. Me and Chloe and then all these school kids but School kids are off anyway. Exactly. Oh, yeah. No, and all these adults have got time off work now. No, I'll be, yeah, I'll be raving my kids, man. But you know what we're going to do now? Remember wrestling. Are we? <sighs> no way. Chloe, I have to ask you this. I ask every guest this. Are you a wrestling fan? You know what? When I was growing up, I grew up watching WWE because I was in love with John Cena. You can't see me. My time is now. But um, from that, I couldn't tell you much about it. He's in films now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you throw all the sweets on the floor? He was. I like Rey Mysterio as well. He was quite good. Rey Mysterio's quality. Sorry, I'm Specs confused. is offended by the John Cena. Why was wrong with it? That's his biggest up. What's wrong with John Cena? This is big. I, I'm a fan of John. I like John Cena. Have it's you seen his, his patch? Pop. No. Oh, his patch is big. What's his patch? <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Zoom in for the boxers, buddy. Zoom in. <laughs> you can show off your head now. <laughs> She's lost it. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, John Cena? <laughs> Why are you saying John Cena? I don't know. When you, you can't see me, you see me now. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, I didn't like John Cena back in the day, but I actually quite like him now. He's now the record breaking uh, make a wish giver. Oh, right. Done well, more a make a wish than ever. Well. Yeah. Um, what about The Rock? He was good. Oh, Rock's okay. Now we're talking. I'll, now, now I'll put clothes on. <laughs> 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 I'll put clothes on. You can go through some names if you want my clothes on. Just up. <laughs> but if you say someone else I don't like, it comes straight back up from me. I don't know. Ray Mister. <laughs> what about The Undertaker? I remember Oh, him. bring my t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and then the one who ate worms. Boogeyman. Boogeyman. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, what did you say? I'm Batista. No, what did you say before that? Boogeyman. That's <laughs> <laughs> right, your trousers are backwards anyway. No, I took his pants off again. <laughs> um, we need to get him back in his leather jacket. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> These are brown trousers, by the way. Uh, I don't know that I've seen many pairs of brown trousers. <laughs> Spare <a> smile. <laughs> <laughs> 16 quarter lip shorts. Oh yeah, they weren't cool. He was a rapper, a bad one. Nothing wrong with trying other things. But yeah, man, John Cena, I just, I just, I thought he was overrated, man. I thought everyone liked him, um, but they liked the wrong wrestler. I thought they should have liked Randy Orton more at the time. Because Randy, Randy Orton for me was the legend killer. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not a fan of John Cena, man, not a fan. Didn't like him on the mic, thought he was annoying. And for me, it's, it's, it's how you dress. I think most importantly, 16 quarter lip shorts with knee pads. 
Make up your mind. And Reebok pumps. And Reebok pumps. Oh, Reebok yeah. pumps. That's not cool. And then he t- when he takes off his t-shirt before he fights. I didn't like that. That's, that's like sexy, though. Well, you like that? You like that, Dylan? Oh, good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, boy, you you, you want to you see me naked again, innit? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin. You didn't mention him. Who? Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, Steve Austin. What about Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan was good. It was good. It was yeah, good. His situation, of course. <laughs> But the t-shirt went too easily. Before he grabbed it, it started ripping. <laughs> um, who else is there? Did you ever wrestle like yourself? No. Like, in terms of like, at home, with your little sister and stuff? Um, yeah, probably with my brother. Oh, you got brothers as well? I got two brothers. Older? Younger. Oh, you definitely wrestled them. You I'm definitely power slammed them on the bed. Come on. Me? No. No? I remember when we used to play like swimming, we would like try and wrestle one the wall and like, drown the other one. What? Yeah. You played swimming? No, yeah. when they were swimming. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they used the bed as swimming. And Chloe and the brothers were lying doing this. And Chloe's trying to drown them. That's worse than mums and dads. <laughs> I was saying to Tigo that like, a year ago, I played mums and dads with my cousins. I don't know what that is. Mums and dads when yeah, you one's pretend. One's a mum, one's a dad, then you got kids. So I'm the dad, but my shit. cousin's the mum. And we're having an affair. It's like this, this, this game don't make no sense. I'm holding your hands, walking to the shop. We're playing mums and dads, but you're my cousin. <laughs> How old's your cousin? My cousin was she was a year younger than me. What? That's fucking yeah. weird. So mums and dads. You never played mums and dads. No, no, that game, pal. No, no, the more you say it, it's getting worse. Yeah. You lot, I've never played mums and dads. What? We played cops and yes, robbers. Greg. Thank you, Greg, man. Cops and robbers. I didn't play cops and robbers. Played mums and dads. Um, what else mums was there? And dads. What else was there? How are we here? Sorry, hide and seek. Yeah, yeah. So just no, because she said seek. because Chloe Chloe said that she played swimming. No, <laughs> when you correct. You tried to say that she said. Didn't yeah. play <laughs> swimming. I was swimming. Yeah. No. Um. So you didn't wrestle. I'm probably not now. WWE is coming to the UK. Chloe, you coming in the summer? Yep, I'll come if you're going. I'll be a fun day out. No, John Cena though. No, it might be. Oh, shit. Back. Came back the other day. T, if he's there, I'm not going. But before we uh, wrap up, we're going to do a couple of quick No Rules News Stories. Talk about stuff. This is an important one for specs. Iranian man (laughs) who didn't wash for half a century dies at 94. That's from BBC News. He didn't wash? Didn't wash for 50 years. I mean, I've never celebrated not washing. (laughs) Obviously, we spoke about other things, but yeah, bathing is, is, is something you have to do in my family. I mean, if I was in Vuj's house, it's different. <laughs> I've, I've, I've worked with Vuj, and Vuj does smell like 2007. <laughs> I'm talking about the year. <laughs> That's a man that um, has stains. That's a man that smells of uh, chopsticks. I didn't never knew chopsticks had a smell. And that's a man that, um, even when I told him, bro, listen, go and spray yourself. He said, no, he's, you know, he's, he's now allergic to being clean. So, um, yeah, that's future. And that's just not me. This guy lived to 94, though. That is really long to not wash. It must have rained a lot where he was. <laughs> that's some sort of wash. Uh, he was dubbed the world's dirtiest man. Yeah. He refused to use soap and water for more than half a century, feeling it would make him sick. So it worked? It did work, seemingly. What did he die of, the old age? You're 94, yeah. That's a, I'll find out. But um, basically, it was. Um, oh my god, tell me, look like. He, t- he, he said that the, the, reason, the reason he started doing it was down to emotional setbacks when he was younger. Oh, okay. What's the longest time you haven't bu- like buff, I'll be honest? Maybe, i tell you what, four days. Wow. Was that, were you on like a reality show or something? No, I got dumped. So I just oh. sat in bed for four days. You didn't wash? Didn't wash. All right, this next story comes from The Guardian. Goalkeeper sent off a confronting fan who allegedly urinated in his drink. That's fair enough, surely. You'd be T. annoyed if someone urinated in your drink. T, first of all, playing out in the flats, and your boy says, are you pissing that ball? T, have you done that? T, come on. What? In what context? T, you're a kid. You're I'm with the kid. boys in the flats. Yep. IT! I'm pissing that ball! Wait there, boy! Go in the corner, you've got an empty Evian bottle. 
you piss in it and lock it with the lid. And you're throwing at each other. Ah. Everyone's running. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand why he's... I'm from Islington. That's what we do in Izzy. Have you heard it, Dylan? Yes, you have. It's the Islington thing. We've all done that, T. Never heard of that in my entire life. We didn't have... We didn't have yeah, see, honestly, we didn't do I, piss play in my, see, I'll be real with you. I'll be real with you. I know not, people, not a Brixton thing. I, I, I know people think like, yeah, like people look at you and think, yeah, like yeah, T goes white, but you're black. Well, no, you're white. <laughs> you're white is what it is. You're, you're white. <laughs> you're a black man. That's clear. Hasn't, hasn't done that. Did you do swords? What swords? We we were another boy, and you make swords. Oh my, oi! You're black. What the fuck are you talking about? What the f- <laughs> D! I'm pissed with my- I'm nine! I've just lost my mum! Give me a break, T, I'm nine! <laughs> I've just lost my mum! And T doesn't want me to piss <laughs> next to my best friend! <laughs> so I'm pissing by the tree! I never- Steve! <laughs> Steve! Steve! Confirm this, I'm pissing this, by yeah. the tree! And issues and dads are looking like- He's been there for too long. <laughs> I think he's- I think he's done it! <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I think he's in this. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so they come next to me, Chloe. I'm so confused. What's going on? <laughs> Chloe, they come next to me and they start pissing as well. Like, by that piss means, are you okay? <laughs> I'm like, I'm all right. And I piss gets close up and then break the walls down. <laughs> dun -dun, dun -dun. So how does Chloe know? Chloe, is there anything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if Chloe was talking about piss. I was talking about piss. Oh, you were? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just going to run through this story quickly. The non-league player, Tony Thompson, was knocked sick after a fan allegedly urinated in his drink bottle during an FA trophy tie. The Warrington Town goalkeeper was furious after being sent off for confronting the supporter behind his goal during the 1-0 defeat at home against Geisley. He said he wrote on Twitter, Today I fell out of love with the game. I've been called many names, but for someone to piss in my bottle, mm. for me to drink it and then be told <gasps> he drank I, it. I wasn't allowed to react because I'm a player is outrageous. I agree with him. I think he should have done whatever he wanted to. That's disgusting. He's drunk someone's piss. He might have STD in it. But yeah, drinking piss is, is one of my biggest fears. <laughs> <laughs> we can do one more. One more. This is an important one from The Guardian. Hi. Snakes have clitorises. Scientists overcome a massive taboo around female genitalia. Why would they need to know that? <laughs> and how are they finding it out? What are they doing? Apparently researchers believed for years that what they, what they found out to be the clitoris was actually... They thought it was a scent gland or an underdeveloped version of a penis. And you know how big a woman's clitoris is? Apparently it's the size of like a cucumber. Is it? Yeah, I've seen it on TikTok. So having a, having a shabango means absolutely <laughs> nothing. <laughs> so I learned something new, but <laughs> shabango's career might be cut short, man. <laughs> But apparently it's been something science hasn't bothered to look into like whether um, animals have clitorises or whether animals have like enjoy sex Hi. or at least female creatures enjoy sex. It's always been known that men want it and enjoy it. Sure. But right, science is just now starting to learn what women animals do. I think, I think women animals have um, clitoris surely. I mean, I've, I've seen pigeons go at it and if foxes you can foxes, hear yeah, and they right. love it but I think I think the fox I think the fox females are in pain though oh yeah because nobody they, screams like yeah. that you? I mean ah! <laughs> why are you screaming like that I believe that the male foxes have got like spikes yeah, in their spikes penises. on their willy oh, yeah. Yeah. Really they're hurt. scratching hemorrhoids and stuff yeah <laughs> fuck no I guess it, and then it's locked in oh my god mm. you Ooh. ever seen dogs after they have sex they're stuck together no. Are they that's stuck? Why they, why they send over the. Uh, yeah. They're stuck. I wish you ever done my spine. That's wank. Fucking hell. Oh. But it is, it's interesting, though, isn't it? Because like male snakes and lizards, according to the Guardian, are known to have hemipenes, which is a pair of penises which are everted outside the body during reproduction. Two. In many In many spirit species, hemipenes. How, or hemipenes, I don't know how to pronounce it, are covered <laughs> in spines or hooks. So, 
There's a lot to learn about animals in a table. Yeah, there's loads, but then also, what are we gaining from that? Like, why do they need to know if a snake's got clear? That's think, about it, think about it, think about it, think about it. Oh, What's the most popular sex position in the world? Doggy style. Doggy. Learn that from dogs. Or would that. common sense lead you there? That's why I don't do doggy Maybe style. Maybe there's a snake style. I don't do doggy style girls. Maybe boy. there is a snake style. <laughs> we don't know it yet. I'm, no. not, I'm not copying. Yeah. Mi- missionary only. I said this from day. That's all you do, missionary. I only do missionary. Your girl must hate you. Why? She, 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 so I, boring. She sees me the whole time when we're doing it. Oh, right. Sorry, she must love you so much. Yeah, I mean, doggy style, she's looking that way. I'm behind her, got one leg up. But you, like, you're human beings. Like, why are you behaving like fucking Alsatians and. Uh, do you give her like bare eye was, contact? I, of what? Of <laughs> course. Missionary. To kiss, uh, kiss no lips, kiss on the forehead. <laughs> what? I'm serious. Missionary is, is, is the best position ever. Missionary, where does that come from? <laughs> it's definitely not animals, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Missionary, mission. But just quickly, uh, what's your no goes in sex? My no goes? Yeah, the things you won't do. I won't eat pom pom. I wouldn't let my missus give me head. I wouldn't kiss on her lips. I wouldn't do doggy style. She can't sit on top of me. I'm not on bed. I ain't picking her up and walking around the house. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not my job. Um, and yeah, 69, I would never copy a number. <laughs> uh, why is she upside down? <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not doing that. Oh, and yeah, she's not eating my ass. <laughs> There's stuff in the way. Oh, <laughs> no, I would hate you if she ever did that. <laughs> I ain't eating hers. No. Because I think her one's just liquid galore. <laughs> Yeah, Can't so when it, when it comes to sex, I just, for me, missionary, kiss on the forehead. And I think that is the smoothest, sweetest thing ever. <laughs> and our kids will be so beautiful. <laughs> Doggy style, you're going to have critical. <laughs> Miles, you always have something that's not finished. <laughs> or oh, it's just finished too early. Critical's finished too early. <laughs> body's still growing. <laughs> Miles, the body's Head's got to come later on. <laughs> Well, that's all we've got time for today, Specs. <laughs> thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Chloe, thank you for helping me, man. You are going to be my best friend this year. Good. We're going to go hemorrhoidic galore. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> We're doing Dubai. We're doing no. Anything goes in Dubai. If you get hemorrhoids, tell me as well. So I'm not alone. T? How would I get a hemorrhoid? Ha- Sorry, T, how, how did I get this hemorrhoid? It was, we, we looked it up, it's because of straining. I... <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Because no wonder you've got so much hair there, you had to strain. Oh. Uh. So you just sit and it just goes out by itself. Yeah, no straining. My hands are very short down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Subscribe. Thank you. Leave a comment. Follow Chloe. Um, oh, yeah. Watch all of her stuff because she's great on stuff. Oh, thank you. She's the best. And something's coming. And something's coming. She can't say what. Surprise! Surprise!